Hi, this is Dale O'Shields, pastor of Church of the Redeemer in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you for joining me for our devotional time today, and I pray that these devotionals are a blessing to you. I want to talk to you today about resetting your emotions. All of us have different emotions at times, different feelings that come and go, some good, some not so good. But the real challenge for us is to learn how to manage our emotions, to learn how to reset them when they move uh, in a direction that is, is really not only difficult for us to handle, but also detrimental to us. And one of those emotions that can really mess you up is the emotion of anger, resentment. When you feel like something or someone has hurt you and you feel that surge of anger on the inside, when someone has blocked your pathway along the way and you find that you're just frustrated and angry internally. And the question becomes, how do you reset when you're feeling angry? What do you do? What does the Bible teach us about that? But one of the things we must first of all learn is that anger is a very dangerous place to be. In fact, from time to time, I remind people that the word anger is just one letter away from danger. And so when we are angry, we are truly in a dangerous place. So how do we handle it? Well, first of all, you recognize it. You recognize when anger is beginning to rise in you and become sensitive to that reality. And then step back for a moment and say, you know what, I don't want to, I don't want to react. And anger. I want to respond the right way. I want to make sure that I don't let my emotions control me because if, if I'm not careful, the emotions of anger can hijack me, hijack my thinking and my behavior, and I can say some things that I really shouldn't say or do something that I may even regret later. And so what you want to do is make sure that you step back, you recognize it, and then you make the choice that whatever the situation is, especially in relationship to a person, that you make the choice to forgive. The quicker you can forgive, the easier it will be to handle your anger. Now, forgiveness doesn't mean that you're excusing a behavior, excusing what someone did to you that might have hurt you, or at least you felt like it hurt you. Maybe they didn't intend that in your life in any way, but you felt the pain of it. And so forgiveness is letting go of it. Forgiveness says, I'm going to release you in the same way that God forgives me when I come to him and ask him to forgive me. I don't deserve his forgiveness, but he forgives me anyway. That we extend that same forgiveness to the people around us. And forgiveness is the pathway of release. It helps you to get that anger out of your system and to be able to get back uh, reset with the right emotions. Jesus himself gave us this, this example on the cross when he was being crucified as the sinless son of God. And on the cross he said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. There was forgiveness in the heart of our savior. Uh, even to that last moment before his death on Calvary and obviously his ultimate resurrection. But we must choose that same pathway. So choose to forgive, release, let go. Don't let anger lead you to a dangerous place.